Hi guys, welcome finally to... That's the wrong thing. Balance unto all. It's finally time for our new warring triad battle with Sophia, or the goddess. Which I'm very excited for. If you remember the last video I did in this, so much interesting stuff was revealed. So I'm incredibly excited for this. Also, a little terrified because these fights are always a little eh. Although this one's apparently not too bad. Uno has urgent news to share on the current state of the Warring Triad. Warrior of Light. If this world is to survive, which is leading already the talking about the thing that he revealed last time, we needs must move forward with our plan. Another pillar of the Warring Triad must be toppled. Hmm. The question of which has already been answered. Following our encounter with the Legatus, Archon Yashtola detected erratic etheric waveforms emanating from the sector containing the Icon Sophia, known simply as the Goddess in former times. Such readings can only mean one thing. She is close to awakening. Let us return to Azizla forthwith and put an end to this primal deity lest she rise again in all her terrible glory. Yes, and then you just hang out there. Alright, let's head to... Zenith? To Azisla. Heal it. Okay, so if this planet needs saving, that line, if you didn't see the last part, is sort of relative to the fact, or related to the fact, that in the last... Ooh! The giant Moogle. In the last um, part, which way is it? It's this way. We found out that Unu is from another planet entirely, apparently. And that he, she, it also has an echo similar to ours, but provided by their god. Like the like the Hydaelyn of whatever planet it was that they came from. I'm guessing that might be their master or their master came with them or... I don't know. Let's have a quick look at her... Danny said trophy. Her statue. Very overgrown, which is very different to how they started. Alright, let's go past the last one we'll be fighting, which is the Fiend, I think. Or is it the Demon? I can't remember. And head to our normal entry point. Ben. Unu! Huh, we appear to be the first to arrive. Shall we await, await our colleagues here? Yes. That's a good chance for a cutscene to ensue. Where everyone turns up. We're gonna get any voice acting? That'll be a nice treat. Huh. Could the Sixth Legion have returned? Alexander! Unu! We're under attack! Yashtola and Urian Jay have engaged the, f the foe not far from here. Hmm, this seems like drawing us away. Could be a coincidence, though. Oh! The first demiurge. Ha! Rarely is my shield thus tested. Twould seem the elegans have not been lax in their recruitment. What armor are you wearing? Wait, I recognize that. That's a um, labyrinth of the ancients armor. 
I'm almost positive. The second demiurge. You think so? Mayhaps your arm merely withered while you lay idle. Third demiurge. Still your tongues. We have stalled them long enough. Huh. Intriguing. With scales in hand, the goddess shall arise and righteously cast off her cursed pall. That she, with wrathful worm king at her side, might judge and thence bring balance unto all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrathful worm king. Huh. That's incredibly intriguing, and I wish to know more. Hear my words in despair, Elegans. Our goddess is awoken. Your civilization has birthed the instruments of its own undoing. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Tis well you are here, Alexander. I would like to know what our assailants were saying. You understood their words, did you not? Oh, I take it they were speaking in another language. Ancient Alagon, perhaps. Well, no, it wouldn't be. Yeah, I was going to say it wouldn't be Alagon, it would be Mericidian. Twas a Mericidian dialect, if mine ears do not deceive, though one which beareth scant resemblance to any spoken in recent times. As for our antagonist's meaning, I do gladly defer to the, those blessed with the echo. Wait, so Mericidian, it could they could mean Tiamat, who back then was wrathful against the Alagans for capturing Bahamut or killing him or whatever. And or they could have been referencing Bahamut there. Anywho. The one with the shield seems to think we were Alagans. He recited what sounded like a verse of prophecy. He claimed that their goddess is awoken. Is that about right, Alexander? Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. And might we assume that this deity of theirs is the very icon we've come to topple? You can assume. Aye, from their tongue, their words, and their attire, tis like that our antagonists were Mericidian, thralls to the goddess Sophia and victims of the elegant incursions. If, as Cryo claimeth, they thought us agents of Alec, tis little wonder that they sought to bring us low. You suggest that Sophia's servants have been liberated from their containment? Then we have no choice but to accept the word of her awakening as true. Gods help us! The warring triad have proven formidable enough when we've roused them with a fraction of their true strength. Should Sophia break free at the peak of her power, Alexander and his friends wouldn't stand a chance. Well, let us be about it then. Ale Alexander, Kyle, Uno, the three of you will make directly for Sophia's containment facility. Ariage and I will do what we can to occupy the Icon's thralls. And we head back and unlock. Oh no, get a little bit more. Oh yeah, we need to, like, continue, don't we? Mr. Skrull, do you put chance recall the words of the prophecy in its entirety? Let me see. Uh, I believe it was with scales in hand the goddess shall arise and righteously cast off her cursed pall, that she with wrathful worm king at her side might judge and thence bring balance unto all. Hmm. 
Worm King. So not Queen, so it's not likely to be Tiamat. Containment Bay P1T6 now accessible. So it's possible it's unlikely it's gonna be Nidhogg that they're speaking of. It's possible it could be Bahamut. Or maybe even Midgard Soma. Perhaps. Beep! Activating verification systems. Identification code accepted. Triad control clearance granted. Alright, thank you. So, we want to go to... 6. Yes, Sophia. History tells of a Merosidian nation comprised of a multitude of races, the foundation of which were built on the worship of a single deity, the goddess, as she was simply known. Grace the souls of her worship as with perfect equilibrium, binding their disparate societies in gilded chains of harmony. In the present day, she is better known as Sophia, one of the incalculably powerful icons of the Warring Triad. After 5,000 years of imprisonment, her failed plans for vengeance once more threaten to come to fruition. To defeat the weak weakened thralls and slay the stirring goddess, lest her divine balance bring all the world into equal ruin. Alright, well, actually let's not have in progress and join and we'll see how long is that going to take. Five minutes, but we've already got two healers, so if it doesn't immediately pop, I'll see you in two seconds when we go to fight Sophia, the goddess. Oh, it literally did take no time at all. Well, containment bay, P1, T6, let's go! Ba, 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 ba. Light party. We're going to get a tiny bit of voice acting at the start again. Oh my. Containment bay, P1, T6. Abalathia's spine. I leave the goddess in your capable hands. Just watch out for her worshippers. So she was inside of an Iron Maiden. Huh. So if nothing else, I'm really excited to see what her theme is going to be. Now let's change that to party. Sophia, the goddess. So I have no idea what to expect for this. So apparently, let's just go in blind. Do 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 The unenlightened come. Ooh. She got a bit of voice acting herself. Ba dun 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 Well while that was cool I have a feeling that the next attack is going to be something where you have to get close to her. Daughter, be the bearer of my wisdom. Oh god, lasers.
do 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 ba da ba da ba. Do 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 ba da ba da ba da ba da. Uh oh. No. Ah, oh, no dread worm. Sin Sintamani. Do 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 do. So it doesn't seem too bad so far. I see. Terrified. Cloudy heavens. Oh, she shielded and... Oh, we're halfway. Divine Spa. Even in death, there is no release. Do 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 So yeah, you get rid of the... Oh god, let's not stand in the frostbite. Get rid of the magic person first, because they're squishy. I should know. I would have said the DPS next, but... We're getting rid of the tank next. Oh no, DPS is dead, and tank's dead. I would know the weight of your souls. So I know that there's a thing to do with falling off. The scales of wisdom. Can you bring equilibrium? Oh, okay, they, there's that falling off. I shall tip back the balance. Ah, okay, I get it. The nice thing is that you can revive people, though, so... Wow, she has a cool theme! Also, has her health went back up? Well, oh, there goes off another person. Ba, ba, ba. Sin must be balanced with suffering. Oh God, oh God! Sorry I'm gone quiet, I'm just like listening to her theme which is so nice. I like it a lot more than the last one. Damn it! It's so long since I've actually got to use me dreadworm stuff. Do 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 do. Ba 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 da da da. Do 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 do. Ba ba. Do 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 do.
Oops, that was slightly wasted. Ah, this way. Yep, there was two leading to that one. So, okay, I think I figured this ish. All right. Come on. Oh no! Oh, wow. It's like, she actually does a lot of damage. So, from the looks of it, I'd say that the AX form of this is going to be more of a healer check than a DPS check. At least just based on what's happening in this. And I think that we're going to get it on our first goal. My revelations are lost. Sophia the goddess, down! And with that, two of the three warring triad defeated. Oh, that's such a beautiful area. Da 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 uh, let's give it to you. Ooh, yeah, I'll give it to you. Because the heal eyes were quite important for that one. Second chance points added. Scripture. So, nothing special. At least I don't think so. Nope. Let's get out of here then. That went very well. Woo! Two player commendations. That was e oh, that was so good. It actually sort of makes us want to try the EX form now. That's a foolish thought. I see the goddess is no more. Well done. Once Kryl and Unu have rejoined us, we may safely depart. Oh, one thing yet puzzles me, however. How did Sophia's servants come to wake from their slumber? I believe we have the answer to that. We uncovered the remains of a Galian soldier in an adjacent sector of the containment facility. Uh, it is like the fool ventured too close to Sophia during the Empire's previous incursion and was enthralled for his troubles. Oh, that's worrying. Another reminder, if anyone needed, as to the incalculable threat posed by these beings. The goddess would not have been conscious when she claimed the man's will, and yet his mistake granted her the means to release her servants. And would have resulted in her own liberation had we not been on hand to intervene. I would ponder that the icon's pawn was capable of so of I would wonder that the icon's pawn was capable of so effectively manipulating the facility's containment systems. How came he by such rare find refi refined rare find? Is that how you say that? I know how you say refined. But I didn't think it was spelt that way, but anyways, knowledge. That too is easily explained. During our investigation, Krell 
discovered a subtle flaw in one of the mechanisms which held the goddess in check, a flaw which had plainly been added intentionally. Upon examining the facility's records of the period, we were able to piece together the story. It was a time towards the end of the Third Astral Era, when the peoples of Merisidia faced extinction at the hands of the Alagan Empire. Sophia, a being of in incomparable cunning, was said to have communicated certain plans to her servants through the medium of a trusted oracle. Following the oracle's instructions, they duly conspired with a rebel faction within Alec, who, we believe, agreed to tamper with the prison intended for Sophia. And when the goddess and her thralls chanced to be captured, wait, and then the goddess and her thralls chanced to be captured, though we suspect that this had always been their plan. Well, I don't know. Indeed, the prison was situated in the heart of Alec and we think they intended to attack the city from within. They would merely have had to wait for the rebels to exploit the weakness in their confines. Ah, and then they think that's what the, the thralls from before think that is what happened. But the conspirators' dealings with the Merisidians were exposed before they could enact their plot, and all was sum summarily executed. It seems that the floor itself remained undiscovered, however and might have remained so until the end of days, had it not been for the actions of the Archbishop and subsequently the Garlands. I cannot help but wonder what might have come to pass had this scheme been successful. Oh, mayhap the answer lies in the prophecy. Cryle hath the right of it. Its words may be deciphered thus. The cursed Paul speaketh of Sophia's prison from which she was supposed to emerge at the agreed hour. The Worm King, meanwhile, can be none other than the great Bahamut himself, then yet a prisoner whom the goddess did intend to unleash upon Alec to set right the scales of justice. Ah, well, that certainly answered that question. A foolhardy plan. Had it come to fruition, the two of them would surely have raised the realm. Nought would have been spared the devastation, the Merisidian's homeland included. Their home already stood on the brink of oblivion. May have they wished for naught else but to purge the poison of Alec with primal fire. The Till Trent teaches us, 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 us that even the greatest of man's creations may yet be brought low by a single act of treachery. The Allegans were fools to place their, place their trust in technological bondage. To shackle such beings is but to delay the inevitable. Naught save their total destruction shall free us of their menace. Let us return now to the Rising Stones, and there consider the final step of this most needful task. With the Fiend. The threat posed by this facility is far greater than you imagine, Rue and one not limited to the icons themselves. Sophia's remaining servants must be put down. Oh, so there's still servants remaining. And you're going to do what exactly? Beep boop, warning! Deactivating stasis chamber support systems will result in subject termination. Enter identification code to continue. Identification code accepted. Subject terminated. Well, that sounds like a bad thing. I can actually understand why you did that. Like, completely. And apparently I watched and did, did know that that happened. Alright, so let's head back. Head back. 
let's head back to Mordorna and the Rising Stones. God, that was so fun! I kind of already want to do it again. Hence why I'm like, ooh, maybe I should do the EX. That might be fun. But that'll be something for later. Hey, if it's not too bad, I may do a video in it. It's unlikely, but maybe. I mean, after this, I'll probably be doing the quest that unlocks it. Because I didn't do that after the last one. Well, I did. But then I never released it like an idiot. So, we'll see. ba dum bum ba dum bum do 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 Alright, to the Salar! Bum, bum, ba da da Let's get rid of you. Ooh, we'll see if there's a new entry in that in a second. Is Artemis Warrior of Light? Archon Yostola mentioned that there was a matter she wished to discuss. Well met, Alex. You will forgive me if I seem curt, but I would settle an account with your our young friend. While conducting a final sweep of Sophia's containment facility, we discovered that all her remaining thralls had perished in their stasis chambers. This was your doing? Aye, it was. I chose to act upon the knowledge revealed within the tombstone we recovered. The true purpose of these prisons is far more horrifying than we first assumed. The elegants were not simply observing the icons and siphoning away their energies, they were conducting experiments in preparation for far more ambitious for a far more ambitious project. If you'll recall, both the fiend and the goddess were imprisoned within massive spherical structures. These spheres were the prototypes which paved the way for the successful construction of an artificial celestial body. You speak of Dalamut. Hi. The Icon's cages are unmistakably of the same design as the Red Moon. To be plain, the research facility contains the seeds of three calamities, which might feasibly be visited upon a chosen target. That makes sense, sort of. Eliminating one of them, them necessitated the destruction of the goddess's slumbering thrall thralls, a distasteful task unbefitting one such as the Warrior of Light. Thus did I resolve to perform the deed myself. You have made your case, and tis apparent that we were not in full possession of the facts. Nevertheless, your notion of what may or may not be expected of Alexander is presumptuous in the extreme. When the Warrior of Light chose to join the Sands, he did so in the knowledge that he would be required to face and destroy not only the Primals, but also their fanatical servants. That which you term a distasteful task is an essential part of our calling, a burden which every scion is sworn to shoulder. I still appreciate it. Ooh, Tandy, we'll go and do that later. I see. It would seem I misjudged the depth of your resolve. No matter. Assuming I had made myself understood, we need not speak of it again. There is, however, one other subject with merits discussion. You determined that Sophia's thralls were awoken by a Galian soldier who had somehow gained access to the containment area, did you not? If this is the case, it seems highly doubtful that the interloper wandered into such a dangerous part of the facility by chance. Dissidents within the Empire claim that the Sixth Legion is rife with agents under orders to thwart the Legatus' mission by any means necessary. Lest you imagine that we have allies in Galamont, I should clarify that their motive is wholly uncharitable. 
Regula van Hydrus rose, Hail Hydrus! rose to the top of the Gallian military on merit alone, and is fiercely loyal to the Emperor for recognizing his efforts. His, his compeers, by contrast, rose through the favor of the established order, and would accordingly do anything to see him fail. That they would be so reckless! You truly believe that the actions of these agents contribute to the recent crisis? Aye, and that they pose no lesser risk to the realm than those loyal to the Emperor. Plainly, we must needs continue to do all in our power to prevent the technologies of Alec from falling into the hands of man. On that point, at least, we have ever been in complete agreement. And complete, I guess. Giving Uno something to think about. I'll do your quest in a second. Chapter 3 Sophia. The goddess has fallen, and only one pillar of the warring triad remains. According to the records we discovered upon Sophia's destruction, the icon had once schemed to bring the elegant empire to ruin from within. The histories also spoke of her followers, and how they perceived the ever-expanding Imperials as anathema to the world's balance. Equilibrium is Sophia's domain. Her worshippers saw the writing of the scales as their sacred duty, and thus did they resist the elegant invasions with holy fever or fervor. Never mind that the summoning of an icon did upset the precious balance all the more. The concept of balance is, however, of great interest to my master. A world must have both light and darkness, and a sudden surge of either will endanger its very existence. Upon our first meeting, my master spoke thus. I am not the light servant, but for the present I must serve. One cannot arbitrate equilibrium if one is not fluid of stance. Oh. The tenets of our justice are found not in light nor darkness, nor the grey shades in between. We but seek to enforce that which prevents the visitation of oblivion, to moderate the endless waves of war, such that neither side claims victory. That is our charge. All right, so let's go through that. I am not the light servant, but for the present I must serve. A lot of people think Unu is, and I've totally forgotten his name, the white Asian. No, it's not coming to mind. His, well, you think his student, though that wouldn't mix, like, mix with the other world theory. But that would work on the the fact that this patch is to do with like the warriors of dark and the warriors of light, and it's potentially why Urianger was working with the White Asian because he was trying to keep the balance, not do bad things, but keep the balance to keep the world from being destroyed. Huh. Very interesting. I love reading these at the end. So, I will do that in a moment. But for this video, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, which was a lot. And I will see you in the... What the heck's a WAP? I tried, tried to type bow, but it started wave. Slash WAP. Hmm, strangely enough, that's not a thing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!